hello. Alright, so I begin all my videos with alright so apparently. <laughs> about the education registration process on dorms website for the Disney College program. A lot of people are saying that Internet Explorer and Chrome are the best options for doing your dorms, like anything in dorms, housing, education, whatever, and your new hire paperwork. Today is Jan January? No. Today is July 8th and the registration was postponed about a week, I think, for, edu for the education classes because they weren't ready or something. I'm not really sure why, but it was postponed till today. It was supposed to go live at 8 a.m., but it didn't work until I'd say around 9. 9, 10 maybe, and it still isn't working for some people, which really sucks. Today you could sign up for the collegiate courses, any courses that can, that your um, college or university will accept as a credit, and you can take up to two courses a s semester, or a session. Um, and that includes all the courses, not just like two collegiate courses, two experiential courses, two distance learning courses. You can, you can take two in all the categories, two total. And so even though I'm out of school, I graduated and I don't need any more college courses, credits or anything, I really, really wanted to take a few of the collegiate courses because I think they will help me after the program with like networking and um, just being able to be more creative and things like that and of course it's Disney so it's gonna be awesome so the two courses that I signed up for were um, I signed up for Marketing You, which is about um, being able to market yourself to potential employers, uh, network really well, create a really good resume and cover letter, everything like that, which I took a class kind of like that in my freshman year. It was called uh, Business of Media. So I'm taking Marketing You on Monday, that starts September 21st and I'm taking it from 1.30 to 5.30. It's once a week until December 7th. And then I'm taking Creativity and Innovation from 1.30 to 5 on Thursdays. And that starts the, f the same week, the 24th through December 10th. So I'm really excited about that. The two courses you, they're tuition free, but you have to pay for like the materials, like the textbooks and stuff. So two courses put me back $54, which is nothing. Like that's one book for a class normally. And like tuition free, I can't beat that, you know? One thing I don't really understand is why, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, it's not really a problem, it's just an annoyance. Um, if they are using, uh, I use Hotmail, or I guess it's Outlook, 
but it's a hotmail.com so email anyway I use that and it always says that this sender failed our fraud detection checks when I get emails from Disney recruiting which makes no sense to me I don't I don't know why it does that I don't know I mean they're in my address book so they don't go to junk but I don't know it's, an, it's kind of weird on the day of the registration opening you are going to get several emails we got two emails about the registration being open because when they first opened it it wasn't working like I said before and it took them about an hour to get it to work a little over an hour I'd say actually yeah because they sent out an email at 707 a.m. and said it was going to be open at 8 a.m. and it wasn't open until a little after 9 so we all were freaking out on the Facebook group but thankfully it wasn't like just like a few people had access it was like everyone didn't have access so it's not like people were locked out of courses right away we've probably got 10 emails in the last week from them about education basically saying um, that you can sign up for these courses make sure you check out all the different options this is how many classes you can take you can take four weeks or eight weeks for the seminars everything like that and it was really informational and really helpful it was just a lot of emails so beware of that all right so in the first email they sent you about it going live you get the day of and they tell you ahead of time it's usually like a little over a month it's like a month and a half usually a month and a week or so before the first arrival dates uh, happen for the program at least that's what I've heard and that's all subject to change <laughs> like everything so in the first thing he says um, education course of registration is now live and they send you the dates from like when it's open to when it's closed it opens on July 8th which is today at 8 a.m. which it didn't open till 9 but that's okay and then it closes uh, September 18th at midnight the seats are limited so if you the faster you do it the more chance you will get the classes that you want and it gives you your username and tells you that you have to click retrieve password on the dorm site if you are logging in for the first time on the dorms website and that confused a lot of people I only just logged in yesterday through that for the first time and got my password all set up because that takes probably 20 minutes to do depending on how many people are trying to get the email at once because you hit retrieve password and then you put your email in that you did that you used to register with Disney College, Pro College program and then they send you a temporary password and you have to go type in the temporary password then create a new one make sure it follows the guidelines which there are many guidelines for all their passwords and I would recommend writing those down in a few places because it's really hard to reset the passwords and if you log in and you have too many login fails that it locks you out of the account and you have to email someone to help you unlock it and it would just it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. so write down your passwords definitely um after you are able to log in to the site you have three options it has first of all it has like it says uh, it's the future program so it's not current and it's not past so it's future and it has the program which it says fall program on your arrival date and departure date and then under that there are three buttons like one two three and it has the first one is program acceptance and then education registration and then housing registration if you go to program acceptance it shows you it says you're successfully completed your program acceptance information 
which is always good to see that you've done something successful. <laughs> and it has your first name, last name, and email that you registered with. And then it also has your arrival and departure date again. And you always, it always gives you the option to go home before you click any farther on things. And that's as far as you can go on program acceptance because there's not really much information that you need from that. Most of it's on your dashboard. Um, and then you go to education registration and you hit the term that you're registering for. And you, it's fall 2015. And that was available for pretty much everyone until... I don't know when it was available because I only just logged in yesterday. But it's been available since yesterday, I know that. But you can't get any further past that. It'll just say system. You can't get any further past that. It'll just say system failure and make you go back to the home screen. But once it is live and working, you get to go to the different sites, the, I mean, the different uh, registration categories. And I think it starts with collegiate courses and then goes all the way to um, experiential courses and you can't really do anything in the courses that you can't sign up for like the seminars and stuff it just kind of says you just have to hit next and it tells you like this is when it's going to go live and I think those go live August 5th and I'm not signing up for any of those because I signed up for two collegiate courses but I think some of my roommates are going to try to sign up for the Disney Heritage course, which is a seminar course that opens on August 5th. That is going to fill up really fast. So mm, I feel like not a lot of people are going to get in. One thing, hold on, what is this? Additional educational opportunities. Listed below are several workshops that could be offered during your program. Please select up to three options that you would be interested in, in attending. I did not know this was a thing, but it's cool. Let's look. Oh, that was a survey that I never got. What you get, you have one, two, three, four, five, six options. And it starts off with registration, and you hit next. And then it goes to collegiate courses, which I already signed up for. I think there's only classrooms on Patterson and Vista. I think that the marketing you is the most expensive. Oh, and organizational leadership and experiential learning are the most expensive. So once you do that, you go to next and it goes to seminar courses and you can't select anything. It just gives you the overview of what they are. And it goes in for the eight, eight weeks and then it has the four weeks ones and those aren't available yet either. And then the seminar professional development series, those aren't available yet. And then it goes to distance learning, which you are able to do. It's free. And what you do is you set aside a um, time in your schedule that you're not going to be scheduled for work no matter what. So that if you're taking online classes through your university or college, you can set aside time to work on those classes in that block. So it's not, you're not all going to be working on the same thing. It's going to be specific to you and what courses you're taking with your university online as to what is going to be done in those courses in that time slot but it's just a way to make sure you have time set aside every week to do all your coursework because if your schedule is changing every week every day it's hard to make time for doing your coursework on a schedule, but having this helps you schedule that time out so you don't have to worry about scheduling it out on your own time. So if I was taking an online class, I'm pretty sure I would do that. But it, one drawback is that it takes away from one of the two slots of courses you're allowed to take. So just keep that in mind that if you are planning to take some of the other Disney classes, make sure you're taking all the ones you want to take before you do that so that you don't miss out on the other Disney classes. Also, you need documentation of your class schedule to be uploaded for distance learning. So make sure you have that and it has to be the right file. I know there's people having problems with having the right file. 
So just be aware of that. Once you did all that and you paid, because um, only the collegiate courses I think cost anything, you are allowed to get a refund for any of the classes that you take up to the Friday of the first week of class. I don't think there are any classes on Friday, I'm not sure. So like if you go to your first class and you decide, oh this is going to be too much work, oh I don't really like this class, oh I want to take a different class instead. As long as they're open you can take another class, I think. But you can drop the course up until that Friday and you can get refunded. One of the things that you need to be aware of is that when taking the educational classes, you need to be in business attire at all times. You have to have the Disney look, so if you have tattoos, like I do, here and here, you have to have those covered up, just like you do at work. The one exception that they have that I've seen is that if you are coming from work or going straight to work afterwards, you're allowed to wear a costume, which obviously you're allowed to wear a costume. Um, that's the only time you're not allowed to be in business attire during the courses. So just keep that in mind, you're going to need to bring professional clothing, business casual clothing, just like traditions. I would recommend three to four outfits so you're not doing laundry every week or twice a week if you have more than one class a week. So just keep that in mind. I think that is all I can say about dorms right now. I'm gonna do a different video about dorms housing registration. I have not gone through it yet, but I'm going to give you little tips and um, a rundown because it can be really confusing when they show you the onboarding website. But I think that's all for the education courses. If you have any questions about them, let me know. I will try to give any more tips that I find along the way for the education courses or anything relating to the DCP and the application process and all the crazy processes of everything like casting, traditions, training, uh, your first week on the job, things like that. So just uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and check out my other videos for more tips and hints and fun um, at Disney World in Florida. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later.